Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal are two of the greatest tennis players of all time. Roger Federer was born in 1981 in Switzerland. He turned pro in 1998 and won his first Grand Slam at Wimbledon in 2003. Federer went on to win a record 8 Wimbledon titles and 20 Grand Slam singles titles overall, a record for a male player. He dominated the sport for many years and is renowned for his elegant and efficient style of play. Rafael Nadal was born in 1986 in Spain. He turned pro in 2001 and won his first French Open title in 2005. Nadal has won a record 12 French Open titles and is considered the king of clay. He's known for his intensive playing style, physicality and strong topspin shots. In this video, we'll explore Federer vs Nadal and discuss the debate around who is the better tennis player. Federer is considered by many experts to have the most complete game in tennis history. He has won a record 20 Grand Slam singles titles and dominated the sport for many years. He is renowned for his elegant and efficient style of play. Federer has won a record 8 Wimbledon titles and excelled on all surfaces, especially grass and hard courts. His artistry with a racket and success across eras is unprecedented. Nadal is considered the king of clay and is regarded as one of the greatest clay court players of all time. He has won a record 12 French Open titles, dominating the surface like no one else. Nadal's game is characterized by his intensive playing style, physicality and powerful topspin shots. However, he has won fewer hard court and grass titles than Federer. His taxing style of play also leads to more physical wear and tear on his body. Comparison of Federer and Nadal's head-to-head -head record and other metrics. Head-to-head, -head, Nadal leads Federer 24-16 in their 40 matches. Nadal has a 13-2 advantage on clay courts, while Federer leads on other surfaces. They played classic Grand Slam finals against each other, including 5 French Open and 3 Wimbledon finals. The 2008 Wimbledon final is considered one of the greatest matches of all time. While Federer has more total weeks at number 1, Nadal won their head-to-head -head matches more frequently. It ultimately comes down to individual preferences and surfaces. Due to their contrasting styles and head-to-head -head record, it's difficult to definitively say Federer or Nadal is better. Both are all-time greats and it depends how you define best. Most experts consider Federer's record slam haul and dominance across surfaces as crucial, indicating he may be the best men's player. But Nadal's head-to-head -head record and clay court mastery are strong counters. In the end, it's a subjective debate that comes down to personal preferences. The rivalry between these two legends has produced some of tennis's greatest moments.